Hey everybody, this is Aaron from AWOL Nation, and you're watching the AU Review. Welcome to South by Southwest. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Welcome to the madness. Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, I guess this is pretty exemplary of, of how South by Southwest is in general, isn't it? Yes, that's kind of how life on the road is in general, you know. I think people come together at South by and experience a little bit of what it's like, uh, you know, for us touring folks you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. That, that's right. It's a, as, as they often say, if you can survive South by, you can survive anything. True. Very true. But, but you'd probably say if you can survive three week, three months touring America, you can survive anything. If I could survive just one day, I'm just excited about life in general. That's right. You've done, you've done well. Well, it's a really exciting time for you guys. New record. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Um, I, you know, it's hard for me to explain or, or, or sell or, you know, promote my own songs or whatever, you know. Yeah, um, I just, I can tell you that, you know, I worked really hard on the record and I'm extremely passionate about it. And I made this record for true music lovers and um, our fans first and foremost. Um, and, you know, the record takes you on a journey and, uh, you know, I hope people love it as much as I do. When did you start working on it? I've been working on this one my whole life, I feel like, you know, yeah. I've, I really, I really, uh, always wanted to make this kind of an album and most most artists say that you know the old saying goes spend your whole life making your first record and then six months to make the second record um, I feel like I spent my whole life writing the second record because I always <laughs> wanted to make a sophomore follow-up I've never had an audience that was um, anticipating anything I've done before so this was the first time I really had uh, confidence that people were at the very least going to listen to what I had done yeah. so therefore that gave me a lot of confidence and art artistic freedom to go as crazy as I wanted to and really uh, put it on the line fantastic and and then how does that translate live because obviously if, if there's been that much put into it it must then mean a lot to get that right in the live yeah. environment as well uh, well I don't know because we've only this will be tonight will be our third show off the new record so I'll tell you after that, I guess. <laughs> it's very early days. Yeah. It's been, I mean, we're, what, we're the, it's been two days, three days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's only noon. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's not only early days, it's actually early in, yeah. in today. And um, you're playing at the ACL Live at Moody stage tonight, closing out one of the biggest stages in Austin. That's true, yeah. No pressure. No, no, <laughs> none at all. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Should, should I? Did you not realize that? Have I? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know anything. <laughs> Honestly, I knew the venue's cool, and um, we're just excited to play and get on stage. That's all I want to do right now. You know. Yeah. And how many shows are you doing at South by Southwest? Just that one. Just the, you're you're luckier than most. Like a secret surprise little acoustic deal in, this afternoon, um, but the, it's all about the main show later, as you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. How's uh, the production changed in between records? Um, hopefully I've gotten better as a producer, you know, and, and I, I know I push the boundaries a little bit more with uh, the sound of the record and, and, you know, it's definitely a more brutal, heavy sounding record and um, a little bit darker, you know, so uh, I'm never one to advocate forcing music down people's throats, so, you know, I'm not here to tell everybody they're supposed to like it. Uh, we've never felt the need to, to tell people to like it. We want listeners to discover us and come to us. You know, to a certain extent, we have to promote the record and all that. Um, but, you know, for me, the best music I've discovered through word of mouth or uh, something I discovered on my own, you know, it's oftentimes when, when friends say, hey, you got to check out this new band. They're the best. I love them so much. I automatically don't want to like that band that they're telling me to love. You know, I don't know why, what that is about the the human spirit, but um, maybe there's something wrong with me, but I'd rather people discover it on their own and have it be theirs as opposed to being told to like it. And working with Red Bull Records, how's that been? It's okay, you know. Um, they, I, I can tell you that they've uh, been incredibly um, good at letting me do what I wanted to do. You know, they were able to allow me to make the record I wanted to make, and they never heard any of it until it was done. And um, they were pleased, and I, I was honestly shocked that they liked it because I hadn't showed it to anyone. I just kept my head down, kept working until I felt like it was a complete work, and um, then handed it over, and, and they loved it. So uh, we're off to the races now. That's got to be hard to come out of that bubble that you put yourself in to make that record and go, okay, now someone's got to listen to it. Yeah, it was like a cozy bed, uh, you know, and I was under the sheets real cuddly and whatnot, and then all of a sudden I was told to take the blankets off and be naked and freezing cold so right now I, j I got out of the bed I'm kind of cold I'm on my way to the shower to get warm again and start the day 
<laughs> I love I love the analogy. <laughs> and uh, Australia, you know, are there any any yeah. plans to get uh, get down there? Yeah, I think we're supposed to go there sometime around October, I think, and uh, we can't wait. I've never been. It's about time. It's yeah. it's. I mean, it's obvious. It's often not. It's, it often takes a couple of albums yeah. for bands to get down. What's well, so far? Yeah. You know, but we'll be there, and we can't wait. And I'm a surfer, as most people know, so. Uh, Hopefully I'll, I'll get exposed to maybe some secret spots if anyone wants to turn me on because I have no interest in surfing with a hundred guys ever, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm surrounded by enough dudes in my uh, traveling circumstances anyway, so. And, and no one just wants to get slammed in the face with a surfboard as well. No, I mean, I live in Malibu where it's so crowded, so I'm often just searching to find the least populated wave um, to just surf with a couple buddies. <laughs> yeah. And you know, but you know, you go to Zuma. There's not really that much, uh, that many waves there anyway. You've got to, you've got to find the right yeah. ones. No, actually, Zuma has its days. And in fact, this last winter and last summer, it was, it was really good. And um, the right angle and the right sand situation and the right wind. Some of my best days ever have been in Zuma. It's just, it only happens, I would say, on a good year, maybe 30 to 40 percent. No, nah, let's call it 30 percent of of the year. It's good or good enough. And then there's that five to ten percent where it's honestly epic. It gets very, very good. So um, I think it was pretty good this weekend. But I, you know, I'm here. <laughs> or this last, what is it? It's Friday. So yeah, I think it was good a couple of days ago. Next week. Next week, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Next week, maybe. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. Really Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.